What's up, everybody? It's Mikhail Casanova, Hawaii's favorite YouTuber and the host of the number one podcast in the state of Hawaii, the Casanova Podcast. And today, I just got a notification from the one and only the Razer Phone 2. Now, this is just such an amazing phone. I love it. Um, and you guys know I'm a Razer head. If it's Razer, I'm probably owning it or I'm probably going out of my way to buy it because I'm just... This is just my brand. This is everything that I, I, I love when it comes to quality. Now, some people may not like Razer. That's your prerogative. I'm not here to debate what you do or do not believe. But what I am going to say is for me, as uh, I'm going to give you guys a bit of a background, preface this all, to show you why I went with this over the Galaxy Note 9, over the uh, OnePlus 6T, and many other phones. And now, I'm a IT systems analyst. I'm a business systems analyst. And so a lot of things that I do are RDC or remote desktop connection. I do uh, server maintenance. I do a lot of uh, account creation, modification, and uh, assessment. And I do a lot of other, you know, technical stuff. And so the Note 8 that I've had for about a year and a half, uh, when it started off, it was running really well, but it got to a point where it started to run really crappily. And uh, while I was leaning definitely towards the Note 9 because of the stylus functionality, it actually got to a point where I realized I don't really use the stylus and there's no point in me paying a premium for a name and a feature that I don't really care for or use. And then I found this, which I've been eyeing out uh, the Razer Phone 2 for a while now. And uh, it's done everything I wanted to do. It's got all my apps and I can game on it when I feel like gaming on it. And um, it's just it's it's amazing I really enjoy this phone um, so in this video I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this phone and uh, go over some of the features of it give you my impressions of it and then probably in a couple days to a week we'll do a review so with that being said let's go ahead and get into the intro today we're gonna be unboxing the Razer phone 2 now as you guys know I have been using the Galaxy Note 8 for the last I want to say year and a half or year and some change that it's been out. Uh, I never upgraded to the Note 9. I know there are two different variations. There was the 128 gig one with uh, 6 gigs of RAM and then there's the 512 gig one with um, 8 gigs of RAM. And the one with 8 gigs of RAM is what I wanted because a lot of the applications that I use for work being Secure Hub. Um, uh, Citrix workspace and more basically as an IT analyst or systems analyst I do a lot of remote work server work uh, checking my emails uh, account modifications and creation and when I'm not able to get to my phone uh, get to my computer or my laptop or my tablet I usually do a lot of things from my phone and that was one of the areas that while I have an iPhone as well as a personal phone I just do not, I, Apple and IT to me just do not go together. Um, I've had a lot of issues with compatibility with Apple and a lot of things. But when it comes to uh, the Note 8, it was okay to a certain extent. Uh, then it got to a point where it just, it just wasn't what I needed it to be. Uh, it was starting to run slow, it, you know, and I think this is standard Samsung, you know, for the core, par for the course. And I just, honestly, I was just getting tired of it. So uh, I was looking at different phones there on the market. So there's, you know, I, I thought about the Note 9. And, and honestly, the price just was enough for me to not have an interest in it. Because um, for the same price, uh, for less in the same specs, I could get the Note, I mean, the, the Razer phone too. And I mean, minus the screen. I don't really care about the Super omelette screen that it has I, I really care about functionality and battery life and performance and I've heard nothing but great things about this I know a lot of people who have been doing reviews on it aren't really gamers uh, one of my friends actually Michael Fisher did um, he did a, um, a review of it too and he gave it a really good glowing praise and so I just wanted to go ahead and give my take on it as a business systems analyst uh, also as a you know as a gamer so I want to give it a different perspective and know people I'm not going to be playing PUBG or Fortnite I, I have those I will play them but I'm not going to use those as benchmarks for how good this phone is so let's go ahead and open it up 
So it says uh, flagship gaming here. And then we got the letter from the president. Actually, you know what's funny is the president of uh, Razer actually liked and retweeted one of my tweets when I was talking about picking this up. So shout out to you um, for doing that. So basically it says Razer phone was created from those serious about performance, whether it was kicking ass in game or kicking back and enjoying movies and HDR. Uh, we should we showed the world a device that redefined the standard in mobile gaming and entertainment. Now meet the Razer phone too. And uh, I'm not going to read all of that. Uh, you guys, if you want, you can pause the video and you can check it out. But this is dope. Uh, you guys already know I'm truly a Razer head uh, when it comes to Razer devices. I have so many of them. This feels so good in the hand. Oh my god. This feels like a man's man's phone. I, I'm so hyped with this. It doesn't feel flimsy. And let's check out some of the other things that come in the box. So if I flip that over. So if I pull this out. Got the Razer SIM eject pin. Information here. Got the Razer phone too as you can see. You know, different information and whatnot. So like goes over what's inside. I think that's everything that's in here, or maybe not. Okay, we got stickers. That's dope. So that's just about that. Uh, got the USB-C wall charger. So it's got the razor on it. So this is pretty cool. Um, and some other things in it too. You got your cord. So. I still use analog 3.5 millimeter headphones, so it's got the USB Type C to headphone input. Uh, basically, a lot of the, I mean, a lot of you guys know we're going to a point where the headphones are being removed, so there's that. Uh, the USB Type C charging and uh, cable was green. Let me go ahead and pull it out of the box. It's braided too. So it's braided and green. So that's dope. Um, oddly, this is not the uh, USB C to uh, headphone input. Input is not braided, which I kind of find that odd. But you know, whatever. I'm not going to be anal about something so trivial. And I think that's everything that's in the box. I thought it came with the case, I guess, I guess not. Um, so anyway, and let's get to the main event, which is the phone. This bad boy feels so friggin' good in the hand. Fingerprint sensor on the side here. Dual camera on the back, gla all glass back, body. Plus it's got the, you can charge it, uh, it's got the cheek charging coil in the lower part of it. Volume up and down. This is, uh, this, this is, this feels so good. You guys don't even understand right now. So I'm powering it on. This is powered by Android. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is beautiful. I'm seriously sold on this screen alone. <laughs> this is amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and set it up. Okay, so we're we got it all set up and everything, and uh, I'm using the Microsoft launcher, which uh, to me this is something I really do. I love this this launcher so so much. And one of the things is it comes with the um, Nova Prime launcher, but uh, for me. I'm so heavily integrated into Microsoft services that it, this is just what's, what I'm going to use. Now I like, I do, I love the feeling on this phone, uh, I love the speakers of it. Uh, fingerprint sensor is right here on the side, it's also your power sleep button as well. Uh, and then you've got your volume rocker here. Now admittedly coming from the, uh, coming from the Note 8. 
Uh, it's a bit of a, it, it, it's kind of hard to adjust to it because it, there's so much on it that uh, just operates a lot differently. And I know you guys can't really see the, um, the 120 hertz I have this running at, but uh, man, there's just nothing like it. And I'll show you guys this too. Uh, so if you go in the settings, and you probably can't see it here because of, you know, the flashing light, but go in settings, you go here, if you want to turn that on and off, you can go display, and then refresh rate, and it gives you, you know, the three options here. You've got uh, 60 hertz, 90 hertz, and 120 hertz. Now the 120 hertz does affect the, uh, the usage of it, the battery life, which, I mean, it's kind of going to be something that you're going to uh, trade off of. Uh, then you've also got the Chroma logo, which you can turn that on and off uh, depending on your preferences. The camera, and now I've heard a lot of YouTubers say the camera's not that great. And, you know, admittedly, uh, given that I'm not really into uh, photography or cinematography, I don't really care one way or another. I do like the fact that you've got the HDR functionality here. You can turn it on to either be automatic, you can turn it off, you can turn it on. Um, the button placement, you can do stuff like this, as you guys can see that I'm using my iPhone 10 to record this video. So, um, I think it's fine. Uh, the speakers on this thing are joyous. Uh, let me go ahead and pull up a, uh, a, uh, a video. So we've got, um, this is from your average uh, consumer. Shout out to him. He's a, a amazing tech youtuber so uh, i'm gonna let you guys hear how the sound is what's going on guys it's your average consumer and today we're gonna be spending a real day in the life with a razor phone 2. now if you've never seen one of my real day in the life videos you're pretty much gonna be spending the day with me and the phone as we test out things like the performance game. now i don't want to get hit with a copyright strike but you can see and hear how loud this is this is really man this this phone right here uh, it, it, it just feels solid like this feels like the phone I've always wanted I, I'm really in love with it uh, I've been playing a couple games I've been playing some Dragalia as you guys can see I've got some of my emulators on here some good Dragalia Star Ocean I've got Fire Emblem Heroes uh, got some of my emulators for SNES PSP uh, Yabuse also got my Final Fantasy let me reorganize that put that there Final Fantasy 6 um, like I said, I could probably play Fortnite or PUBG. I'm just not into uh, those kind of games. This is not my not my style, but um, it definitely does that well. I've had no hiccups, no slowness, no stuttering, no nothing. This phone has been fantastic. Um, what I will do is I will give you like an uh, an example in the coming week or so of how this actually functions down the road. Um, the battery life now some people have said they get about four hours of battery life some say they get more some say they can get six to eight hours it really kind of depends on your usage of how you're using this phone in my opinion um, but uh, we'll, we'll you know what we'll follow this up in a week and see where we come at with this but so far this is solid I love the build quality I'm glad it's not an all-screen display with the whole you know notch thing which I mean the notch thing never really bothered me but it is what it is uh, no headphone jack is using USB type C, which is why you have the uh, adapter here. So if you want to plug in headphones, you just plug that in there. And then whatever headphones you have, you just plug it into this port here. Um, but with that being said, I mean, this thing is just, oh God, I love this phone. Anyway, um, that is the Razer Phone 2. Uh, so far, that's the unboxing. I'm really enjoying it. If you guys, uh, if there's anything you want me to cover in the review process, if you want me to recover, like, you know, does it get too hot? I mean, it does admittedly get a little warm, but I think all smartphones do. There's nothing new about that. Uh, it's not burning to the touch. I have not experienced that. Uh, if you guys want me, if there's anything in particular you want me to cover, or the battery gaming, uh, video quality you name it let me know and uh, let me know down in the description below or hit me up on Twitter at uh, twitter.com slash Mikel Casanova or at Mikel Casanova and I'll you know I'll look into it for you and I'll include it in the video but with that being said so far solid phone I have definitely been able to take advantage of the applications I use which you know in case you guys don't know I use stuff like this 
uh, Secure Mail, Secure Hub, uh, Workplace, Skype for Business. These are the type of uh, applications I use. So runs like a dream, no slowness, no stuttering, nothing. All right, and that just about wraps up this uh, unboxing of the Razer Phone 2. Shout out to Razer for making such a phenomenal product. In my opinion, I really love it. Uh, this thing is everything I want it to be. And, um, you know, as an IT analyst, this is just this is what I'm looking for. But we'll come back with a review and, and we'll see if things change, you know, because over time, all, everything changes. Nothing is set or solidified in stone, uh, aside from death and taxes. Anyway, other than that, um, yeah, why don't you guys tell me what you think down in the comment section below. If you guys are interested in this phone, if there's anything about it you want me to cover in the review, let me know and I'll make sure that happens. And with that being said, I have joined the Colta Razor when it comes to phones. As you guys can see, I've got the Razor equipment and my super nice Samsung. And Samsung, this is about the only thing I have left that you guys have. No offense to you guys. This is a phenomenal monitor. But it might be replaced with that new Razer monitor. <laughs> Two of them. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces wild, too sweet, be the elite. I'll see you later on.